Hey everyone, it's Ulister here once again, and welcome back to more Final Fantasy VIII. When last we left off, we had met up with the Timber Owls, the resistance group we were tasked with meeting, and we're now on our way to kidnap the president. Also, we discovered that I suck at button combinations. It's a good job that was a practice, else we'd be in real trouble. Okay, so now we're going to talk to Watts, otherwise known as the Bothan. No, I haven't seen that. Well, actually, yes, I have. He was right next to the save point. He looks impressive. Um, I guess. But we're not going to go back to talk to him. We're going to get on with the mission. Which involves jumping from trains. There's no way this isn't awesome. Well, I got a snake in my eye a moment. Hang on. Okay. <clears throat> so, we're going to catch up with the second escort soon. It's right there. We'll, we better get ready. Oh god, we're on a timer, people. Don't screw this up. Now, I should point out that they're actually jumping from, uh... Between tracks. So, the, the, yeah, the logistics of this are slightly more tricky. Oh yeah, and they leave me behind. Oh yeah, these things don't work. So that's good. High-tech sensory equipment doesn't work. Now, don't forget, the President's car does not have any kind of sensors, so we're good in that regard. We can just run right across it. Although, how he doesn't hear the sound of our footsteps, I don't know. That's being a bit harsh. It is his job. Man, it must be tough being a Gobalian soldier. The smallest thing you do, and you get your paycheck revoked. Not entirely sure I'd want to sign up for that. Despite the benefits, of which I don't know what they are. Okay, so this is the first escort car. We're going to uncouple this first, considering it is the first car. Now, uh, luckily, we don't really have to keep track of the guards. That's up to Zal and Selfie. Um, they do an adequate job. Although, there's one thing I'm confused about. Um, it was previously mentioned that the blue guy has the sound sensor, so you don't move with him. But the red guy has the temperature sensor, so you have to run away from him. Yet Selfie just sits there. Pretty sure that would set off any kind of alarm before school does. Ah, uh, I hope so. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Uh, there is a bonus to all of this. If you manage to uncouple both cars without getting spotted by the guards, you actually go up a seed rank. So, you know, that's good. Yep, yeah, stop talking. I know how much time we have left. So no guards are coming, so we can get down and input the first code, which is four, 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 one. See, I've learned how to do it. Okay, we need to go back up because the blue guard is on his way. Zelda are doing a good job. Nice one, Zel. Oh, they're both coming. Just wait for them to return back. And head the other way, and we're good to go! Okay, head back down school, input the other two codes. Oh, come on, that's just the exact opposite. I press the wrong button, I'm an idiot. 1114, this is easy. Okay, can you, like, give me a code with twos and threes in it? Because I feel like you're being slightly prejudiced against those numbers right now. I should. Well, crap. Two, one, four, Oh, I've got the last number. Get up, get up, get up. I think it was 2412, wasn't it? Oh well. You don't get penalised for putting in the wrong codes. Um, other than time, obviously. So, okay, 1422. 1422. Okay, that's three codes. And this train should now be uncoupling anytime soon.
It's a good job we did it before the first train uh, track switch, otherwise we'd be in trouble right about now. Okay, phase one complete. On to phase two, the uncoupling of the second car. Oh, graphical errors. I love you so much. He's sleeping, don't worry about it. Nope, there's a no problem here. Oh, come on! That's not even fair! Of course it is, you're seeing things. Okay, seriously, you need a new job. One that actually pays you, because two months without pay? Screw that noise. That's not worth it. Okay, so this time around, uh, tangent aside, this time around, we have to do everything ourselves. Because, as Renoa said, Zelda and Selfie are busy uncoupling the resistance train uh, from the dummy car. So, you gotta do it all yourself. Yes, I've just done it! And the um, annoying thing is, you gotta do it five times now instead of three. Yes, I'm ready, shut up. Okay, no one coming. First code, let's go. 4212. That's what's done last Four. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Up, 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 up. There we go. Okay, we're good. We're good. Whew. See, this is a bit trickier because oh, I gotta wait for the blue to go past as well now. Thing is, they don't have the entire car to run through, it's just that first section. So, head down. Two, one, four, three. Okay. Two, one, four, three. So far, so good. So far, so good. Two, one, three, one. Two, one, three, one. That's two. Up, 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 up. Okay, okay, we're safe, we're safe. Where's the blue guy? Not there. Oh, now he comes back. Jesus, get back up, get back up, get up, 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 up. Put the wrong number in, purposely. Go, 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 go. See, that's, <laughs> that's, that's the annoying thing about this. You can't go up the rope if you're in the middle of inputting a code. You have to purposely do it wrong in order to ascend. Four, that's the third code. Up, up, get your ass up there, school. And here we go. Code number four. Two, three, one, four. Two, three, one, four. One to go. Oh, come on. I've got like one minute of 15 to go. Stop interrupting my important work. I'm being paid for this shit. Get out of the way. Okay, last code. Two, three, three, four. Two, three, three, four. And that should do it. And they just run off randomly. Okay, let's get back onto uh, the president's train. And then just head back to ours. Wait, are those actually horns on the front of the train? Or some kind of flamethrower type thing? Okay, now I'm going to be honest. This part doesn't make sense. The back half of that train does not have an engine, so how the hell did it catch up to the part that does? I'll tell you how. Aliens. Um, so, mission accomplished guys, we've got the president. Now what? If you say sir one more time Watts, I'm going to hit you. And see, because I was not spotted, because I am a super pro ninja train uncoupler, I got a boost to my seed rank. I think it's like 9 now. At some point I should go back and do more tests to increase it further, but, uh... More important things to worry about. You just can't rely on these two. Like, at all.
Serious negotiations. Wow. Yeah, score's got it about right. Let's just double check everything. Why the hell have you not got your... Okay. Da, da, da. So... Whoa, 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 whoa. I need to do selfie. Uh, selfie enough quests. Attack. Magic. GF. Uh, see, now, I'm tempted to give at least one of them the item command. Um, instead of magic. Because... Uh, one of the fights coming up could potentially be drastically shortened if you use a Phoenix Dang. Uh, but I can't remember if it actually works or not, and I'd rather not waste them. Um, uh, what to do, what to do? No, you know what, I'm going to stick to my tried and tested method. Um, okay, I don't have Move Find yet. Uh, Move Find, by the way, is an ability from Diablo. I think. No, it isn't. Who is it? Who has a Who has Move Find? Oh, Siren does, and it's already learned. Why the hell have I not equipped it? Selfie. What? No, Siren is Squall. Good Christ, I'm forgetting my GFs, man, and who they're attached to. I should, like, keep a note somewhere around here, like, just keep looking at it so, so I don't appear stupid. Anyway, uh, yes, these three, they're all sorted now. Nothing else to do, we've already got the magazine from the couch in Renoa's room. So, yeah, let's go. For serious negotiations. President Delling. As long as you don't resist, you won't get hurt. You can tell she's not quite thought this through. You know, she kind of... She went over this with Zone and Watts, and they were like, That's a good idea, Renoa. You should totally do this. Oh, something's wrong. Something is seriously wrong. Oh, bait and switch. We got the wrong president, guys. We got the wrong president. We fucked up. Shit. Okay. Um. Let's go to plan B. Well, oh, that's harsh. Plan B is everyone run the hell away. Blow this train up because that'll be so much easier. What if you'd resisted? We would have just, like, I don't know. Dragged our nails on a chalkboard for a while. I don't know. So, Renoa and Selfie just crouch on the floor. And now it's fight time against the fake president, who is a little bit weird. Uh, he doesn't move like any human I've ever seen, doesn't talk like one either. Uh, but before we begin, let's scan him to see just what we're dealing with here. Naturally, a fake president. But what is he weak against? Well, he is weak against... I'll tell you, once I get past level 9. Come on! Nothing, apparently. It's just level 9. That's all. So, he only has 500 HP. That should be simple enough to deal with. But before you do that... You can draw Cure from him, in case you're running low. It also means, as in all the fights when you can get Cure, you should not die in this fight. Because if you're drawing 8 Cures at a time... Hell, you could even cast it and you're fine. Um, if you're drawing about 8 Cures at a time, you shouldn't ever run out. See? There's no way you should die in this fight. So now that you know how much health he has left, and you know what he has in, uh, he has on him magic-wise that you can draw, you can just go ahead and beat the crap out of him. I mean, he only has one attack, and that's smacking you in the ball. That's biting your head, I should say. That's it. He is no danger whatsoever. If you lose this fight, you are an idiot. You should go back to playing something else. 
like Angry Birds or something. I don't know. Yeah, there we go. Job done. Oh wait, hang on. He has a face too. That wasn't even his final form. So what is he now? A big pool of crap, it seems. Okay. This is going a bit weird now. Uh, this guy is called a Garo Garo, or Jaro Jaro, depending on how you pronounce it. Um, he is a bit different from the fake president in the fact that he can actually do some serious damage to you. Not from a physical sense, but he can cast a number of statuses on you, including Blind, Silence, and Berserk. And as you can see, he also has 3,500 health. Uh, so now that we know that, there are two ways we can deal with this fight. Two ways. You can either... Nice. Oh, before we do that, if I get these new magics from him. Essentially, you can draw the stuff he uses on you. And Zed is currently slow. Oh, this is gonna be... I was just gonna use Squall! You are an absolute dick. Fine. Fine. Uh, in fact, before you do anything else in this fight, I highly recommend that you draw a couple of Ezunas from him. Because Ezuna has the advantage... You can't do anything with Squall. Of... Why not? Use a limit break. I'll finish that thought in a second, hang on. Yeah, Ezuna has the advantage of getting rid of any and all status ailments. Oh come on, you're just being unfair now. Ugh. Okay. Things are taking a bit of a turn for the awkward right now. Selfie. Okay, so as I was saying, yes, draw a couple of Ezinas, then you should be okay. And uh, going back to my original thought that I was saying when this fight started, there are two ways you can deal with this fight. You can do it the standard way, and just smack him in the face with your weapons, occasionally using magic, and dealing bonus damage with GFs, or... Or, you can put your Final Fantasy head on, realize he's a zombie, and then realize that he's extremely allergic to healing magics. So, guess what we're gonna do? That's right, we're gonna cast double on all the characters in here, smack him in the face with healing spells, and cure him to death. Ah, oh, yes, because that's a humane thing to do in this situation. It's also funnier because irony, you know, it's kind of like your friend's on fire and you're trying to put it out by patting him with your hands but you forget you're wearing spiked gloves and you're just causing more damage. So, <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. So, Selfie is unfortunately, um, silenced right now. So, we're going to have to deal with that. Then we're going to cast double on her and then we're just going to heal, heal, heal until, you know, the end of time. And I need somewhere that I can get more doubles pretty soon, because I'm running quite low. So before I actually start casting Cure on him, Zell needs a couple. In fact, everyone does. So, double Cure coming up, Garo. I, I hope you're prepared for this. I hope you've taken out death insurance. See, because he's a zombie, so everything's backwards for him. So now everyone's back up, we should be good to go. Begin the artillery assault, comrades. Oh, that's just unfair. It's always school. Except for when it was selfie. Now the good thing is, Ezuna does not wipe the, dub the um, double effect. It doesn't wipe it, so you still have it even after you cast it on yourself. Which is good. 
At this point, of course, once you work out that he is a zombie and extremely susceptible to healing magics, the rest of this fight should be a cakewalk. I mean, you could summon Ifrit if you wanted to, because he's also weak against fire. But considering Ifrit takes about 40 seconds to summon, there isn't really any point. Because you can get this done in like two minutes. I mean, look, that's 350 damage each time on average, roughly. Times that by three. You know, well, times it by two first, you've got 700. Times that by three, that's 2,100. That's like three quarters of his life gone in one round. See, he's dead already. You cannot doubt the power of healing. The power of Christ compels you and all that stuff. So that was a simple fight. That was the reason why I was tempted to put item on one of the characters, because I couldn't remember if Phoenix Down was an instant kill. It probably is, but I didn't want to take that chance that it wasn't, and then it'll end up wasting uh, wasting a Phoenix Down, because they're important. Although once you actually get the life magic, they're less important, and anyway, moving on. Well, it did seem a bit too easy, let's be honest. Okay, what's well, this time? Okay, this info better be good and accurate, because I swear to Christ, if you're lying again, I'm going to hit you. We don't care why he's here, we want to know where he is. Oh, that's where he's going to be, never mind. Uh, rescinded. Selfie there with some previous knowledge from the field exam. And of course these guys know nothing about it, despite Watts being an expert in information gathering. Watts, you're an idiot. Dollar has a communication tower that can transmit and receive radio waves. Most satellite towers can. It had been abandoned for a long time, but the Garbandon army got it up and running yesterday. This is true, we fought them beat them, and then they withdrew as long as Dollet didn't disable it again. Ah, okay, there we go. Now it all makes sense. HD cable? Wait, when was this game made? 97? 98? And they were already talking about HD stuff. I really hope that HD stands for high definition and not something else, like, um, uh, I don't know, I, I can't think of a good acronym right about now, but yeah, HD Cable in 97, did it really exist back then? I thought that was like a recent thing. Yeah, come on, Renoa, keep up. Oh, he's probably gonna, you know, show us his latest Pokemon that he's caught or something. I don't know. So something important, maybe. Like that. Okay, Selfie's gone from wanting to blow the crap out of the President's car to being the uh, Vash of this series. She even did the pose and everything. It would be wonderful, but that's not going to happen. Spoiler alert. Oh god, Zone's got an idea. Okay, you three go off and... Uh, form your plan in your meeting table. Down there in the corner. Um, okay. Okay, let's just, uh... Selfie! Thoughts! Oh, I should've spoken to Z Oh, no, never mind. Zell! I'll be honest, it is kind of unorthodox, but have you seen the place they're working from? It can't really be helped, man. Yeah, uh, I'd like to look at the contract. Oh, that's very fortunate. But first, more important issues!
That's one hell of a filing system you've got down there. So, wait, hang on. That's your meeting table and your filing system. It's good use of space, actually. I approve. Oh, God. See, this is why... This is why I don't like any kind of legal document, because they never speak in plain English. It's all sweet of crap like this. And it's like, dude, just shut up. Talk in English so I can understand it. Yeah, the score's like, fuck that. Just, no. Okay, this time it says the following. To the forest owls, this seed deployment contract will last until timber achieves independence. Oh, fuck. Well, that's going to be a while. Um, shit. I don't think they brought a change of clothes. You know what this means? Shopping trip! Well, that sounded extremely fabulous. Please make good use of each seed member. I wish you the best with your objective. Please understand that this contract is an exception and no replacement, no replacement of any seed members can be made. Balam Garden Headmaster Sid Kramer. Good guy, Sid. Seeds you're having trouble with one contract gives you one in English. If only everyone was like that, I'd like that a lot. So essentially, we're screwed and we have to do everything they say until Timber achieves independence. Which, as Zelvi points out, is extremely vague. Still, I hear the food here is lovely. We should dine sometime in one of the restaurants. Let me guess, your, information, uh, your specialty is information and you've got a bad stomach. There we go. What does Zone actually do, other than complain about his stomach cramps? So, okay, choose party time. You cannot swap out Renoa or School. So, you kind of have to choose between taking with you Zell or the bipolar selfie. Uh, who would I rather have? Well, it's kind of a toss-up, because... Oh, also note, Quistus is leveling along with us. Even though she hasn't been in a party for like three hours now. Uh, who to take? Who to take? Let's see. You know what? I'm gonna take selfie. Screw it. Sorry, Zell. You can stay here with the, with the guys. Because we're going to wreck some shit. And you're not invited. Of course. The thing is, you have to remember about the GFs, take them off of Zell. There was a far easier way of doing that. Far, far easier way. But oh well. Uh, the, 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 the magic, GF draw. Pretty sure I... Oh, she has no magic, does she? Crap. Uh, that's fine. Um... Shit, I forgot about this. Okay, well, Zell's not in the party at the moment, so... <sighs> you know what, you know what, I'm actually gonna, just gonna go back. I'm gonna go back. Take off that from you. Give it back to Zell. Because... I'm going to show you the easier way of doing this. If I can remember how to do it. Nope, that's wrong. Shit. Hang on, hang on, hang on. There's a junction swap thing somewhere. I'm sure there is. Nope, wrong button. Really? Am I just, like, for, uh, forgetting how to do this, or am I remembering this wrong? Oh, wait. Oh, no. That's... Oh, wait, yeah, there it is. Junction exchange. Okay, so... Select Renoa. Select Zhao. Done. God, 
Why did it take me that long to remember how to do that? That's kind of dumb and embarrassing. So now, Renoa should have... There we go, Ifrit and Diablo, and everything should be okay. Everything should be back as it was. So now we're set. Uh, sorry, Zal, you're staying here. Staying here, even. And we're going to party! Uh, but first... We're going to save! Because you know me and my cliffhangers. Um, I swear to god, in the next video we're going to actually get into some proper fights against random enemies. Uh, but until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.